We're back. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found Enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Come on, Arthur. Oh. Here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. No oh, shit. <coughs> yeah, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, a crossbow. Joke. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. Mm -hmm. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Well, I sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. It sounds like uh, really know what happened on that boat. the other character Teenage. in the first one. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Doom. Doom, doom. This thing looks nice. <laughs> okay, what the fuck was that? Whoa! There's some patches of grass here. This is good. Let's look down this way. Winds died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Gia. Whoa. Hey, stop here a second. What do we got? Something. Oh, watch it. Deer been here recently. 
How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. Okay. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Was it a black? No, that's me. Where are we going? You see the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. Oh. Oh. Okay. I think I wasted it, but fuck it. Son. <gasps> Shut the fuck up. Okay. <gasps> I see it. Wait, look. Oh, what to draw? Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. By selecting call when aiming, this will give you a chance of a clean kill as they raise their head before fleeing. Oh. Oh my god. down Where'd you go buddy? I see it. I see it. There it is. Okay, I probably shouldn't call it.
Come on, but oh, I see you. I see you. That's all we can carry. We just wounded it. Better go put it out of its misery. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure? Are your hands okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Cool. Okay. okay. It's still alive. Let's pick up deer carcass. Tracks what you have discovered in the world can be okay. Approach the back of your horse. Cool. Hi, buddy. Tennessee Walker. Study. <laughs> Too easy. Carcasses can be dropped off to prison at uh, butchers who contribute to gang supplies. Should be enough meat here. Easy. <laughs> Careful. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Okay. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Fucking Jose. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. Easy. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> Well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. <laughs> I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well... We've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Who's we'll talking? Watch out. They're <sighs> up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Oh, Stay well back. Four. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. 
Uh, fuck it, full charge. Spook your horse when the predator is nearby. Your horse gets at you to hold. You're running into me. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. <laughs> he treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. Holy I'm shit, sure. this is a fucking long yeah, ass save walk. Me. Save most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Ha! How's that new horse? He's alright. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard. Finally, Jesus he Christ. That horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys. Kinda wanna go hunting now. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. I got food. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it is. <laughs> now, shoot, sure, get lost. Uh, well... See you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier Ooh. if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one if you dumped on the floor there. Oh, what the fuck?
Oh, that's cool. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. Let's go hunt more. <coughs> a few days later, you have unlocked the Master Hunter Challenge. Check your log for more information. What happened? <gasps> What's going on? It's been a bad few weeks. <laughs> Dutch, being Dutch, he is busy making plans and. Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last <laughs> rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. For the moment, just rest. Arthur. What happened? I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. The boy. You see me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. Whoa. Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living, even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnate. Sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. He's gonna get us killed. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Everyone ready? All right, let's head it out. One of three deer skinned. White tail deer. Drop back. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. Oh, <laughs> There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer that run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Yes, sir. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, Let's on. rock. 